Hi everyone, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Now let's talk about comparison of fractions. The topics which we are going to discuss in this video is comparing the like fractions and the next one is gonna be comparing the unlike fractions. The first thing which we are going to discuss over here is comparison in terms of like fractions. Before we get into the examples, we need to understand the logic and the definition of the like fractions. If we consider about these kinds of like fractions, in terms of the like fraction, the fraction with the greater numerator is considered to be the greatest one. We have an example as 1 by 9 as the first term and 7 by 9 as the second term. Since we have the same denominator in both the terms, this is considered to be the like fractions. So this is the first logic which we need to understand. Since the denominator is quite common for both the terms, we can simply compare the numerator that is 7 and 1. And it's well known that when we have a comparison between 7 and 1, 7 is considered to be the greatest one when compared to the term 1. So 7 is greater than 1. We'll move to the next example. We have 3 by 10 as the first term and 5 by 10 as the second term. We have the denominator 10 on both the sides. So we must understand that this belongs to like fraction. When we see about the numerator, 5 is there and 3 is there. So 5 is greater than 3. So 5 by 10 is greater when compared to 3 by 10. Now let's move on to the comparison of unlike fractions. In terms of the unlike fractions, if two fractions with same numerator but in terms of that it will be having the different denominators which needs to be compared, then we need to find out the fraction with the smaller denominator in order to have the comparison by analyzing the greatest one. In order to compare the unlike fractions, we first convert them into like fractions. So this is the first and foremost logistics in terms of comparing the unlike fractions. We got the example over here. The first term is all about 1 by 5 and the second term is 1 by 4. As we seen the logistics of unlike fractions before, we must first make these kinds of denominators into the like fractions. So in order to proceed with that, we must take the LCM of 5 and 4. So the LCM of 5 and 4 is 20. In order to make these two terms the like fraction, we must equate the denominator in order to get 20 as the denominator. So by multiplying 4 in the numerator and denominator, we will be getting the value of 4 by 20. Similarly, for the term 1 by 4, we need to multiply 5 in both the numerator and denominator in order to get the value of 20 which is the LCM. So once after making out the denominator 20 on both the sides, now it's understandable that we got the denominator as 20 on both the sides. Now we can simply analyze the numerator part that is 5 over one side and 4 over another side. By having a comparison on both the terms, it is understood that 5 by 20 is greater than 4 by 20. So 5 by 20 is the 
term which is representing 1 by 4 and 4 by 20 is the term that is representing 1 by 5. Since 5 by 20 is greater so the answer is 1 by 4 which is greater when compared to 1 by 5. We got the next example over here. We have the question 1 by 3 as the first term and 1 by 4 as the second term. As we know, we need to take the LCM first of all. So taking LCM for 3 and 4, we will be getting the value of 12. On solving this, since the LCM is 12, in order to make the term 1 by 3, we must multiply 4 in the numerator part as well as the denominator part so that we will be getting the denominator as 12 which is the LCM. Similarly, for the second term 1 by 4 in order to get the value of 12 in the denominator part we need to multiply 3 in the denominator and numerator. So on solving these things we will be getting 4 by 12 and 3 by 12. Now we have been having 12 on both the sides as the denominator. When we have the comparison in terms of the numerator 4 and 3, 4 is greater than 3. So 4 by 12 is greater than 3 by 12. As we know 4 by 12 is denoting 1 by 4 and 3 by 12 is denoting 1 by 3. So it is understandable that 1 by 3 is greater. Hope you got an idea of how the comparison of fractions is all about. Thank you for watching this from GTEC.